Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have e to the power of c plus pi is equals to pi to the power of c plus e and we solve this problem for the values of c. So uh, here uh, the very first step we are going to do is uh, first we can apply here uh, this exponent law. You know about that if we have uh, a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So according to this exponent law we uh, break the left hand side of this equation and it will be written as e to the power of c multiplied by e to the power of pi. And in the same pattern, we apply this exponent law in the right hand side of this equation and it will be written as pi to the power of c multiplied by pi to the power of e. And now here in the next step, uh, we uh, combine the variable terms in the left hand side. Uh, so for this, we can just divide both of the sides by, uh, we divide both of the sides by pi to the power of c. Okay, pi to the power of c and uh, e to the power of pi. So we divide both of the sides by this term. So when uh, we divide both of the sides by this term, so that our uh, given equation is written as e to the power of c into e to the power of pi divided by pi to the power of c into e to the power of pi equals to uh, in the right hand side we have pi to the power of c into pi to the power of e divided by pi to the power of c into e to the power of pi. And now here further in the next step uh, you see here this term is cancelled out by this term and we will get here in the left hand side is e to the power of c divided by pi to the power of c equals to in the right hand side this term is cancelled out by this term and we get here pi to the power of e divided by e to the power of pi and now uh, here we apply another exponent law and you know about that uh, if we have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m and it is equals to a over b to the power of m so according to this uh, uh, exponent law, we combine the exponents of these two terms and it will be written as e over pi to the power of c is equals to, here we have this is pi to the power of e divided by e to the power of pi. So now uh, uh, until we just uh, move our variable terms in the left hand side and we move all the other constant terms to the right hand side. So now we are ready to apply the log on both of the sides in order to solve this equation. So here we can apply the natural log on both of the sides and it will be written as log of e divided by pi and its exponent is c is equals to log of pi to the power of e divided by e to the power of pi. And now we apply here the nice uh, logarithmic law. So according to the logarithmic law, uh, you know that if we have log of a to the power of m, it is equals to m times of log a. So according to this uh, log property, uh, the left hand side of the above equation is written as, we move the c in the front of this term, it will be written as c times of log e over pi is equals to this is uh, here we again apply the second property of log and uh, we just um, apply this log separately on both of these values and we can write here the negative sign so we have this is log of uh, pi to the power of e minus log of e to the power of pi so further in the next step uh, we again apply the log property uh, in the left hand side and here we apply the second property you know that if we have log of a over b is equals to log of a minus log of b so according to this property of log uh, we write the left hand side as in this form this is c times of log e minus log of pi is equals to here we again apply this property of log and we move this e in the front of this log and it will be written as e times of log pi minus 
uh, here we again move this pi in the front of this log and it will become pi times of log e and now uh, you very well know about that log of e is equals to 1 so that we can replace this uh, logarithmic identity uh, into the above equation so that when we put this value into the above equation it will be written as c times of log e equals to 1 minus this is log of pi is equals to e multiplied by log of pi minus this is pi times of log e and log e is equals to 1 so here because we solve this problem for the values of c uh, so for this we need to eliminate 1 minus log pi from left hand side uh, for this we divide both of the sides by 1 minus log of pi so when we divide both of the sides by 1 minus log of pi uh, it will be written as this whole term is cancelled out by this whole term and in the left hand side we get c is equals to in the right hand side we have e times of log pi minus pi divided by this is 1 minus log pi so this is the our final answer of this problem uh, and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos